all right guys good morning so today we're going on a little adventure let me bring some light Ooh, okay yes so we're going on this little adventure and it's in a brie elaine had arranged everything for us to do and i had to you know coerce her a little bit to tell me where we're going so that i mean at least i can relax a bit and so that's what we're going to be doing today and sharing that with you it's about 7 28 a.m and we're getting ready to move or ready to leave the house so yeah come with us today on our little adventure to somewhere in a brie you find out when we do get there and uh yeah i hope you enjoy the video so yeah let's go Yeah, so I am ready with my boots, as you can see. They told us to pack a few things, even with a change of clothes. So I think Elaine is also ready. Yeah. <laughs> and we're ready to go. All right, so. Oh, let me turn this camera around. So yeah, we're ready to move. Ready for the adventure? Well, first, let's Food. Yeah. Some breakfast. Yeah. We'll go. Okay. So we'll pick up something little to nibble on. Munch on. Yeah, and then we'll go. Okay. So you guys come with us. Yes. <laughs> breakfast. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's go. All right. Let's go. It may not be my birthday, but I just want to celebrate my Yeah, this is the first sign we're seeing. Zoom in. Yeah, we've been driving for so long and this is the first sign we're seeing. So we're turning right here. If you see this sign, right next to, I think, the electric pole line thing, you turn right. And I was <laughs> asking or talking to Lynn, wondering, like, how, how did they even get the bikes here like who comes all the way here to come in but I guess it's part of the adventure so yeah all right guys so we just arrived and I think we're the first people here so far I don't know if there are other people who are gonna be coming for the ride as well but we are okay it's 9 19 so I think we are about 40 minutes early no actually we're not early because the ride starts at 10 technically I think we're on time so yeah, we'll show you how the ride goes and uh, how the rest of the day goes. I think I already did that, but yeah, we're now <laughs> the only people here. We're waiting. Well, we were also a bit early because we weren't sure about the road and where we're coming. They told us to be here 20 minutes before, but now we're here like 40 minutes. Before. No, <laughs> it's 9:30 now. Okay, yeah, so half an hour early. Yeah, so we're here. I don't know if there are other people going to be a part of this, but um, yeah, we're coming to do quad biking today. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> so yeah. that's what we're doing for the weekend after our second wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. So just some time out of town. and uh, There's a very nice breeze here. It's super cool and fresh. Like we're literally in the middle of nowhere. It's so green here. Yeah. And nice. although I must say I don't really like 
that the hamatan is back mm. uh, it's a bit different here the air is fresher mm. yeah. than in Accra mm. so yeah that's it for our catch us on the quad <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then we'll let you know how it goes for the rest of the day I think so Alrighty y'all, so I didn't film the part where we were going through the instructions and terms and conditions for the ride because the organizers of this experience were not comfortable being filmed. But you do get a run through those terms and conditions as well as a pre-ride training before you set off and they were as elaborate as possible with the gear, wearing the helmets, wearing the goggles, everything, even with test runs before the main ride. This is also why you sign the terms and conditions, just in case either party goes against them. Now the route is about a 30 to 45 minutes one way, and that's due to factors like how comfortable the riders are with using the ATVs as well as the stops either for photographs and possible mechanical issues that may happen with the quad bikes. You ride with two guides, one of them, uh, one of whom is a resident engineer making sure that all those fixes are taken care of. And you ride to this beautiful waterfall known to be quite big uh, in its peak season. However, we witnessed the Hamatan version of it and then we were back to camp. All right, so we just rode all the way. Woo! What's that? So we're going to see the falls. The ride here is making me second guess wanting to get a bike because if this is how helmets are supposed to be squeezing your head, then I do not want a bike. But it was fun, it was challenging. Very challenging. Yeah. Here we are. We're going to the waterfalls to check it out. I am not touching the water. <laughs> I mean, I'm not swimming. That's what I want to see. But yeah, it's been fun so far. And uh, we'll show you how the waterfall looks like. All in all, it's about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours and we did enjoy every bit of it. I recommend you try this for yourself. So these are the quad bikes that we went with. And uh, the ride was quite fun. Coming back, you get more comfortable with the ride. So it actually makes it easier and more fun and much more enjoyable. And I do understand now why they tell you to actually come with a towel. <laughs> it's because you have to clean up quite a bit before you go back because it's really dusty. But I had fun. I had like mad fun and i'll definitely recommend and i'll definitely do it again but if you have a head the size of mine with locks on it ask for extra extra large helmet because it's not it's not comfortable so yeah atv abri i don't know where the day is taking us next see you in the next one now to looking for some fufu so yeah we are coming to eat fufu at i think the place is called alice door yeah to finish up the day. I don't know if you can see it, my shirt is like proper dirty from quad biking. But Fufu doesn't, I mean, there's nothing Fufu doesn't cure. So Fufu is going to cure it with some club. And then we can go home. Yeah. How do you feel? Flushed. It was so intense because you have the sound, the quad, the dust. The, your like the first part, you're really scared because you have to use your whole body to move the vehicle. Like it's really an experience. Like I really feel it in every part of my body that I've like done something. So I really want to eat something heavy. So Kwame said maybe we can go to Ilbury, but I'm ready for food. See you soon. <laughs> Hey, I'm going to you. I think you can have four. She's going to have four.
<laughs> if you come to Alice door, please buy food for cities. I said I wanted six cities and look at it. Way too much. I can't people are killing you before. Eh? With tiny fufu and extreme prices. Yummy! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's photo. Ah! <laughs> it's what? Missy. Really good. I'm really full. <laughs> I've already feel myself dozing off. But it was way too much. Look, I couldn't finish. I couldn't finish. But the fufu is very soft, very refilling. Like this very is very thick, eh? Very thick. Yeah. Um, I can sleep now. If I close my eyes, I'll sleep. It was good. Yeah. Especially after doing such an activity and such a reward to eat like proper, proper. Hey, it was good. Hey. <laughs> I almost spilled the water. How was it for food? <sighs> it's so good. So good. I really, really enjoyed it. And I think it's a place that I'll probably, yeah, drive up here every one, once in a while to eat. As in, it was worth, it was worth the experience. So it's called Alice Dole. It's really nice. With a club as well. Woo, my God. My buckle. I had to loosen up my buckle because the fufu was too good and I was... <laughs> uh. So you guys, let me turn the camera. This fufu. Woo! <laughs> ready to sleep, ready to sleep. Ready to go home. Yeah, ready to go home. Belly is filled. Mm. So good. Yeah, so good. <laughs> so, we're gonna go home and uh, yeah, let me show you. Let me show you guys. This is the sign. Alice door. I think you have to zoom small. Yeah, I'll zoom. Alice door. It's right when you climb the Pediasi and come down. There's this um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, savings and loans called Maroon. It's right before Maroon when you're coming from Accra. So yeah, you guys should check this out. Alice door, it's really cool. All right. So we're going home to sleep. And I think this is the end of the vlog. We are tired. Thank you for coming. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>